Wednesday, November the 8th, 2017. I'm out here in the city of Flint, Michigan. And let me tell you, it's very cold today. Winter is upon us. It's about 31 degrees above zero. Got up this morning and uh, it looked like it had snow. There was frost everywhere, frost everywhere this morning. Want to come out and touch base with all of you and uh, had a wonderful time last night at our live stream uh, when we went live on YouTube and uh, what wonderful fellowship we had uh, last night. Everyone coming together, brothers and sisters in Christ and just loving one another and that's what it's all about. I want to try to bring you some encouragement and uh, I want you to know that uh, we've had a long wait. We've been waiting a long time and we've been patient and uh, I know, I know that with all the evil in the world today, that Jesus is coming and he's coming quickly. He is coming quickly and I don't believe he's going to tarry much longer. I get discouraged. I want to give you some updates. Uh, some people asking how the new church is going, just in case you haven't uh, um, gotten the, the proper information. All of it fell through. If it's the Lord's will, if it's Yahweh, if it's his will that we have a building to hold fellowship and to house the homeless, wouldn't it be wonderful? And to have a, a food pantry and a warehouse, a storehouse, uh, God will make it happen. Yahweh will make it happen. But so far, it hasn't happened. The building that we looked at was perfect. It was perfect, but uh, they wanted the long-term uh, lease, and I couldn't commit to that. And, and uh, you know, we don't take in a whole lot with this ministry. We're just a poor ministry uh, out there working the field. So um, I'm gonna still pray, and I'm still gonna believe that if this is what Father God wants for me to have a physical building, a, uh, to have fellowship, to invite everyone for everyone to come as you are and that's including what doesn't take place in the city of flint the homeless and the poor and the least of these the churches around here they shut the door on the poor they shut the door on the homeless because they can't put money in that uh, they can't tie they can't put money in the offering basket i want the doors open for everyone to come and worship god poor, the downtrodden, the poverty-stricken, the homeless, to know that they can come in and get warm. And if it's meant to be, God will make it happen. I get discouraged because um, it's getting cold. It's getting cold out. And uh, I know last winter, we had a bad winter and uh, we lost 15, 15 people, 15 human lives that fell on hard times, froze to death last winter. I don't know what's going on with the uh, missing people in the city of Flint. Now it comes out that uh, there has been a body or bodies found in Broome Park in Flint, Michigan. It took the police like four hours last night to arrive. Someone was walking their dog in the park and it's still not clear if it was one body or multiple bodies that were discovered. So they're back there today. They've got it all roped off and uh, they're doing their investigation. What I find interesting is the, uh, not only the state police are involved, but the FBI, the Federal Bureau of Investigation is there on scene as well. Could this be a serial killer? I hope not. I pray not. This world is so evil. In Fenton, Michigan today. They're having a human trafficking awareness program tonight, I think it's 6.30 p.m. in Fenton, Michigan. A seminar to bring awareness to the epidemic of people missing, human trafficking. I pray because I'm tired. I pray because it seems like I do what I can and it just doesn't seem to be enough. I get discouraged. I wanna bring you encouragement. I'll never sell out on this YouTube channel. I'll never sell out. 
I'm not going to uh, build up your hopes and uh, I'm not going to scare you. I'm not going to use fear because fear does sell on the internet. I'm not going to have you on the edge of your seat with uh, comets and Comet Ellen and extinction level event and asteroids and all the things that are to come upon this world. But right now, we're not at that point in Bible prophecy. We're not at that place. And I just want to bring you encouragement, but sometimes you know i see other youtube channels and they're prospering and the, but what is the pastor doing what is the pastor doing for the least of these the brethren that are hurting that are poor and that are homeless in their own communities i did a ancestry uh search on my last name zacker and uh i remember the stories my grandmother our, our last name was originally Zakar. And the meaning of the name, to plow the fields, to go out, and to work the fields is what the name Zakar means. One that plows and to go and work the fields and to labor. And this is a labor of love. I, I love everyone. I know the plight of the homeless. I've been there. The Lord has taken me to that point and to that place to prove me for this ministry and we lost everything and we were homeless ourselves with our children and uh, my passion is for the homeless and uh, it just it seems like I, I'm so limited that there's just not enough that I can do and I'm, I'm just praying about that and I ask that you pray with me. I love you guys. I'll be back uh, in a little bit. I'm just out here trying to feed the homeless and to clothe the homeless and to give them some encouragement and some love. I'll put all the links below to how you can support this labor of love. Our ministry, God's ministry to the homeless. All the links will be right below this video where it says show more. Just click on the show more tab if you would like to contribute to this ministry. I want you to know there's a church behind us talking about that. I'm just looking in my rear view mirror. You can see the church building. I see so many big mega churches and their doors are closed to the ones that need them most. I want you to be my church family here. I want this to be your church. If you don't have a home church, I want you to come to this channel expecting and to lift one another up and I am not above you. We're all equal. Only Jesus is the head of this church. I love you guys. Link below all the links below to how you can support our ministry to the homeless god bless you shalom if you would like to make a contribution to our ministry and outreach to the homeless what you do is you go to the show more section right here right above where you leave your comments just below the video and then you click on the show more tab and you will see all of the links to how you can support our ministry and outreach to fight homelessness.